Margaret Blundrett, and today we're going to be making cheese and potato pie. And for the pie mixture, we're going to be needing four pounds of potatoes, uh, two medium-sized onions, one egg optional, one teaspoon of dry mustard, seasoning to taste, milk if needed, tomato to garnish. As pastry, we'd be needing one pound of flour, half a pound of fat, a pinch of salt, maybe half a teaspoon, and two ounces of iced water. We're using margarine, which I'll put in my blender, but you can also mix it by hand, easier in the blender. And the pound of flour goes in. We can blend this together. Now we're going to empty it out onto the board. Knead it a little bit into the flour, and then you've got a nice bit of soft pastry. Don't forget to flour your rolling pan. It might be a little bit too soft, but oh boy. Tender. Roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. The, the dish I'm in. Grease it well. Always remembering to wash your hands when they when you feel they're dirty and change your apron. Put your pastry on your and get rid of the excess pastry. Where you've missed in, just fill. And that's a nice little pastry piece. Right, now we need to boil the potatoes with the onions. And we put them on to boil. You can get the onions roughly. And these, we're adding a teaspoon. Full of mustard. A bit of salt and pepper to taste. We're going to add an egg. Beaten. To mash the potatoes, to a smooth consistency. I'm going to add my cheese mixture. Fold it in. Sorry. Well, I 
make this a little bit thick so we're going to add, add a little drop of milk. There you go, just about so. this nice and creamy there we're going to put aside for a minute without the bowl excuse me put the potato in the pie press Now I'm going to garnish with a tomato. Doesn't that look nice? And now we're going to put it in the oven just to cook the pastry because everything else is cooked. About 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And coming out of the oven is the cheese and potato pie. Looks scrumptious, doesn't it?